What's up guys, it's Nitro Gaming 24 7 and welcome back to another episode. So, last episode I did a lot of land clearing and everything, getting everything cleared out. So we cleared up over there around the sheep farm and everything. We built the iron farm and stuff. And I talked about this, this is the gold farm. I don't have a trident killer at the bottom of it yet. So that's the first thing we'll be doing in this episode. Is just getting this trident killer built in right here. I will probably skip over this and not show a time lapse of this or anything, just get it done and go from there. So I'll come back to you whenever I have that done. And then after I finish this, I'll probably do some time lapse and do some building on the wool farm over there on the walkways and get some of that done. Just trying to finish that up. But this right here shouldn't be too hard. I'm going to stream this tonight. So if you're watching this, I'll probably upload this in a couple days. Because how I'm going to do these videos is I'm going to record for a couple days and then edit it and cut it together. Just so people that can't come to the streams and stuff can see the videos. Um, if you do hear that in the background, it is thundering really bad outside right now. So if you can hear that on the mic, sorry. There's nothing I can do about it. But yeah, let me just go ahead and get this all built up. And... I'll cut back to it then. <coughs> alright, I'm back and I got all this finished, all built up. The Trident Killer is all on it now. Um, I still have to decorate this and build the bottom part of the farm and then put a base and build a much better um, loot system for it, like a storage system. Right now, I did just put these on it just for basic storage systems, but it, this will get changed soon. You know, I want to build like a whole base for it, make it look good, and make the area match and look good. Um, problems with it right now is it gets dark under here, and mobs like to spawn a lot. And this whole thing blocks all this, so they don't despawn when they're in the daytime and stuff. So every time I use it and then leave, and I try to look at the loot and stuff, I always have mobs attacking me. So whenever I build that base it'll fix all of those problems. I have used it a little bit just for testing it and stuff. It seems to be working pretty well. So you come up here. Um, I will turn down the game settings for you real quick. Just so it's not really loud in the mic or uh, let's see audio. So it's not really loud on the game. There we go. So you turn this switch on here, which I do want to lower this just down a little bit to right there. So it's not way up there. But you turn that one on. You give it a second, and then you can see the portal start flashing up there. Alright, give it a second, and then all the zombies, the pigmen will start falling down here. And then you can turn this on. So there you go. And it does lag quite bit, a bit too. Let y'all see it for a second. Um, this farm here is by Navy Nexus. So if you do want to build this farm, then he has a tutorial on his channel. It's pretty simple to follow. I didn't have any problems with it. And as you can see, this farm works pretty well. If you hold a looting three sword, then it should put looting three and give you looting three. As you can see, I am getting XP through these little holes here. So you can fix all your tools, to repair your elytras and stuff like that with this farm. It works pretty well. Alright, I'm just going to turn it off now. Uh, right now I do only have one trident in each one because I don't have enough tridents. It will work faster if you add two tridents in every one because it will kill them faster. I don't know why the... There it goes. No, it's dead. No. And then you can turn that back off. And then I'm going to turn my game setting, the sound, back up. Alright, should be good. Alright, so that's all done. Looks pretty good. Um, whenever I fix up the outside stuff, it'll, be, it'll look a lot better. But I'm glad it works. Because now I can start using that. So the whole reason I built them all together was because 
I can go over here in AFK at this, you know, get all my rockets and stuff for my elytras here, and then I can go over here, right here, and repair them. So it's like a one-stop shop for all three. You can get your rockets and then fix your wings, and then you're good to go. All right, so the next thing I want to work on is the wool farm over here. The sides, how I cleaned out the sides in the last video. I want to go ahead and build the walkway that goes around it with the water fountains. Basically, that side right there with the flowers and the water fountain and the water and stuff. I got to build that on all four sides, which that side over there I still haven't cleaned out. So I won't be able to do that right now. So for now, I'll just build this side and the back side to get three out of the four sides completely done. So I will probably put in a time lapse and I'm going to go ahead and build this side right here and get all that done. Um, I don't know if I'll do a time lapse of both this side and the back side just because it's literally the same thing. So one time lapse should be fine. That way I don't drag the video out too long. So let's cut to a time lapse and let me get this build done and let's get this part finished. Alright, so we are done with the build. Well, these two sides at least. Hopefully that time lapse looks decent. So I did this on stream and I put my PS4 account right here in the air and left the time lapse from up there and played on the PC account to get the time lapse done and everything. This place looks awesome like this. It looks a lot better with this walkway. I'll fly around, get you some views and everything. But in the time lapse, I only did record that side but I did get both sides done except for the back side you know but both sides are done and it looks great I'm gonna get you a couple different views of it show you around uh, it looks good from over here too so that's why I come over here but it made a big difference I still want to add grass like a ring of grass around this build too just to add in a bit of color so it's not all just dirt and stuff but I think it was well worth it. Makes the build look a lot better. Yeah, that definitely does look better. I need to add more lights in though. Um, just so nothing can't spawn and stuff. These corners here, I know it's just kind of like a point. But those corners is what the walkway is going to go off of. So if I want to build a walkway going out that way, which I probably will to... Um, Eddie's farm and have a walkway going you know different ways for different areas you know the walkway in goes from here and then this one's probably going to go across here to get to that over there so the points I'm just going to leave those for now uh, get you a daytime shot of over here Alright, so with this all done, I want to go over there and work on the nether build a little bit. So the roof on the nether build, I have to like build it, make it coming down. So I'm, I'll just throw in a time lapse right now, building that, and we'll see how that comes out. So just skip to that. I don't like whenever my world doesn't load in like this. I just ran into Spyro, I can't see nothing, and I was flying. See, Alright, I made it past Spyro this time. But I was just flying, I hit a brick wall, and I can't even see anything. There we go.
All right, time for that time lapse. Alright, so I didn't get much done on that time lapse. I did that part right here, a little bit over there, filled in all of this, so it's looking a lot better. There's still a lot of work to go though, so I will continue to work on that, but for now I have to get off. Um, we did that on stream and everything, I time lapsed it from there, so it's starting to look a lot better in here. I want to add in a whole bunch more stuff as we go on throughout the week and everything, so. We'll get this done, try to get this done pretty soon so we can move on to different projects. I'm going to go ahead and end this video here. So if you liked the video, hit that like button. And if you want to see more builds like this or anything that I've been working on, hit that subscribe button. Hope you enjoyed watching. And peace out.